I'm starting to um, change the filament because um, yellow is wanted and not green. We have green on the on the printer at the moment. Yeah, it kind of looks green through the. Oh, let me try to focus on this tube here. Oh, there we oh, go. Hold it down. Ooh, it's, it's on its own. Uh, there is the green. Own time. Oh, 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 oh. Off. And yellow goes on. Goes on and then it here. Is. So and then we go backwards. Of course, today everything is in the way. There we go. So uh, move up the filaments and it starts to come up through the tube. Uh, and it's Oh, and a nice howling sound. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can see it, we can see it, we can see it. Yeah, and now it will come uh, out the nozzle. And I can actually you can see the, the, the previous green stuff. Um, I'm going to catch it when it comes out. Come on, you're coming out. Sorry, I'm in the way. It's okay. Come on. This takes as long as it takes. Yep. So the lesson is never be uh -oh. in a hurry. There we go. But be prepared because it will happen when it will happen. There we go. There yeah, we go. It's, it's starting to come. Still green. Too bad it's not making anything other than cute little rounds. Uh, sort of like turning yellow. And there we have it, yellow. Yeah. So right. it's only a small bit where it actually blends the colors. Indeed. And there we go. Here's your little yellow. Yep, trying to focus. There yeah. you go. Gotcha. Okay, so, and then we go stick in the Card and on your prints. So we're gonna do the the fast one first. The 300 micron one is gonna go first. 30 minutes. It says it tells you which uh, nozzle size it is. Nozzle size 0.4 and um, material uh, length and the time. The time is very subjective. Uh, yeah. The best time you can get on the Cura. Uh, on Cura itself, not on this machine. Yeah. And there we are. Um, now, um, yeah, it came forward. Um, back to the display. Oh, back to the display, yes. You see the uh, slowly moving up lines. I need to go all the way to the end because it's heating up the platform right now. And uh, once this is heated up, it will heat up the nozzle again. The nozzle goes much faster than the platform. Right. Um, this is my platform. It's a uh, it's a uh, 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 carbon enforced resin plate. Um, you created that? No, no. I uh, I I did the buying thing, the handing over of money, and then waiting for, and, and, and until it finally came kind yes. of thing. And then the happiness when it did. Indeed. And the unboxing and all of the joy. Yeah. But uh, so you basically bought it separately from the ultimate. Unfortunately, yeah, this should have been coming. That sort of thing should have come with the automate maker. It comes with a with a glass plate and instructions on how to use a, a glue stick. Uh, but quite frankly, it's garbage. Mm. Get a proper print print surface, and this this is the best one that I could get at the time, and I'm still sticking with it because all the other ones I've seen are all consumables. They are mm. used up, and this one plate I've. Um, 
I scratched it up uh, after about a year and a half of, of use. It was quite scratchy, so I turned it over. So I have another year and a half of use out of it, mm. and then I can sand it and it will be and, and, and or or just ignore the scratches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting there. Still timing them or working up to something. Yep. Let me put the. This is my. Uh, This will make the time lapse recording. And how much, how many images does that take? Uh, I've settled on one second, uh, one uh, picture per second. So it speeds it up 30 times. And what is it recorded on? Uh, a SD card? Or uh, and, and, and a micro SD card, yes. Okay. Um, and that becomes a little movie. Um, I've already uploaded a couple of them, and so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the hand. Yes. Ah, whoa, there you go. Party whoa, time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Plate is now quite warm. Uh-huh. And... There we go. There we go, it's gonna go another little... ...booboo. Uh -huh. Just makes a, a little dropping for... What reason? Uh, just to make sure that the filament is all queued up, ready to go. So it first goes around um, one time, and it, uh, actually two times, uh, one time, uh, just to... Uh, oh, that, this is the... Who's the smiley? Oh. oh, I think one of the eyes didn't come out. Yeah, this, this is the, the 300 micron one. We'll just have to see this one's going to go fast. It will not be the prettiest version. Um, it may make a mess of them things as well. We'll see. We'll see. So the three one that was the the coarsest version. This is the coarsest version with the le with the least good bad adhesion options. We'll have to see, but it does. Um, if the start looks like this. Uh, sometimes the print may fail, or sometimes it may work it out. Right. It's possible that if it does more than just pick up a little, little bit of things, like it, uh, here, here it picked only picked up the eye and picked up the, the circle for the uh, for the hanger. But um, uh, if it picks up more, then it can pick up the entire thing and turn it into a wood or plastic mm. and and your print. Right. Um, so this is why it's always, the, the, basically the danger zones of a print are bed adhesion, the start of the print, uh, and then later on, if the print is really tall, is the print getting pushed over. Mm -hmm. By the fact that it's simply so tall and the contact point with the, with the bed is that so much so far away. Mm -hmm. So this is the number one danger zone. zone. And when I got the printer at first, I had so much trouble with the glass plates. It just kept coming off the plates, and I do like like three or four layers, and it come it off the plate. It was too slippy. It, it just let go of the. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Basically, what it's holding onto is basically some prayer and a bit of glue stick. Oh uh, yeah. And the glue stick is actually there to just make the surface rough. It doesn't actually glue anything. Right. Um, so what this plate is, this plate is also a little rough and it, the, the, the filament catches on it just enough uh, and then because the plate is hot, it's actually quite, uh, quite a coarse fit, quite a strong fit, so when, while, while the plate is hot and then when the plate cools down, it actually shrinks a little bit and pops the, the print right off. Mm. Uh, so if you actually use this plate cold, you could, but it would be the, the print would be stuck quite quite strongly. I think it's actually Was it fixing itself. itself. Yeah, I think so. It just doesn't care about the little bits of filament; just goes straight over it. It does mean that the back of the print will not be as nice. Yeah, as it won't it be could perfect. Be. Yeah, uh, you'll see it on the back of the prints. That's okay. We'll see it later. So this one is going to print for another 20 or 28 uh, minutes. Okay. And we will probably not sit around for that. No, we're gonna have tea. Oh, I love tea. Okay, time for the printing and pink people to 
have our tea. Yeah. See you later. See you later. Seconds, one second. And then hold one second for a little while longer. Well, it's not done. One I'm still more. Going. Little corner. Little corner of the thingy. Still in one second. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Party time. So, I mean, the, the plate is still hot. Excuse me. I bring out the hammer. Hammer and the chisel. <laughs> yeah, a very, very nice chisel. Um, the idea is not to hit so hard that you actually break something, so I'm gonna give it a small tap. And there it comes up the plates. Yes. And there you have it. So this is the this is the the nice side and this is the back side. Yeah, I can see some indentations. Yeah. And then we um, I'm gonna start the next the next one so it's still hot. Print print print. I'm gonna start the two and while it's starting we can look at this. We can hold it in here and you can see it better. Yeah, yeah once it focuses. For some reason it's not focusing. So we can retry again to focus this thing. Yay! We have focus! Yeah, and so. Well, I'm gonna have to take it out of the machine now because it's occupied. So it's gonna do its um, thingy again. Yeah. Another doodle. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Click, click, click. And so it's going to do one surround the circuits and then it's going to start properly. Twice around the circuit. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot to put them twice. So, so which uh, setting is this now that This is a two, uh, the 200 micron setting and that's the kind of start and you can see it actually stays on the plate much nicer uh, Should be there Yeah mm -hmm. It looks like a proper smiley pancake And then it starts to fill up. Oh yeah, it's now making cross lines. Yeah, making the surface. So uh, that says about how it chooses to make this flat surface. Uh, it's the plotter, plotter motion of, of this kind of thing. He says plotters are uh, the way they choose to fill up the spaces is completely unpredictable. Mm. In the computer world, they can't predict it. So the fact that it starts over there and just decides to go this way and fills up that little, little bit and then suddenly does something else. Really? So it's a calculation algorithm somewhere that decides when what needs to happen? Uh, yeah, but apparently there's enough random um, randomness in it that uh, you can't predict how this calculation is going to come out with the choice of where to go first. Okay. And what little bits to fill. 
So especially in the, in the flat surface, which uh, this, this this whole technology is plotter based, of the the moving head that that has a, a nozzle with either a colored pencil or or, mm. or a filament coming out of it, or a pancake batter, if you like. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I have a very distinct pancake feeling. Indeed, uh, especially when it's when it's flat, but. Um, yeah, it does it the way it does it. No, um, no predictability. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Is that also mean that if you run it twice, that it would do it a different way? Uh, not within the file. If I render the, the file again yeah. from in Incura uh, and, and make sure I do like a, move it a little bit off over, yeah, it will be just something different. Mm. But literally, this this print file will always print in this way. Right. Because there's no... Uh, so the, no plot, the plotting is actually in the print file? The plotting is already done in the print file, so yeah. it's, it, that's the way... So it's not this machine itself that decides, oh, I'll do this instruction no. this way? No, no. All, it all just of that's, follows instructions. It follows instructions and then the, the print file is just an instructions where it says, now the head goes goes to this point and starts to, to extrude, then it goes uh, to, to that point and stops extruding, then goes to this point and starts extruding, and then goes to that point and uh, stops extruding. Mm. That's all it is. So this is an instruction, and that's an instruction, and that's an instruction, yeah. and <laughs> that's an instruction. Yes. <laughs> Either that or it's a weaving basket of some sort. <laughs> but the line itself is, is, in, is, is in the middle of the instruction being being executed. Go from this point to that point yeah. and extrude while you go there. Yeah. And it's almost at the end of the first layer. First layer, yeah, you can see everything really clearly. And that's the second layer. Next to go around the outside first. Of uh, yes, because um, when you look at these prints being printed longer, when he goes, starts to do his infill, uh, when he changes direction, it actually pulls on the filament. So if he can catch the filament already on an existing line, mm -hmm. it doesn't come off the plate. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, so that's why they do the outline first, so it has something to grab onto. Yeah. And just twice, as you can see because it's two layers and there we go now he's filling stuff up again yes so and it will do uh, I believe it will do two uh, two layers in the in the horizontal um, for the for the base and the top and the top will also be two layers maybe actually actually it does more than that I think I've forgotten which setting I've put it, but at least two. And he, of course, does this in a different direction than he did the first layer. Yeah, to make it stronger. To make it stronger. Yeah. If you would take the same lines all over, all the time, then it might actually start coming apart. Indeed. Yeah. So how well does it actually glue to each other? It's warm. It actually doesn't glue at all. It becomes it, it's each other. Right, it merges. It merges. The filament has a melting temperature of starts at 60 degrees and goes all the way to 350 degrees when it actually just just uh, melts into drops. Uh, I think 260 degrees will start to get the drops out of the fillet, uh, out of the nozzle. It prints at about 200 degrees, a little bit more, uh, where it's just. The, 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 the material is just pliable enough that you can smear it out like uh, like butter or, or, or chocolate paste. Mm. Um, so if you touch it now, it would be really squishy. It would be squishy. It will also be 200 degrees. It would be really hot. Ouch! <laughs> and this is Celsius, right? This is Celsius, yes. So that's like oomphy ouch ouch in Fahrenheit as well. Yes. But it all, already this material already becomes a little bit pliable at 60 degrees. So if you put it in a cup of a uh, cup of tea, hot tea, oh, it you can already start to soften up. You can start bending it. Okay. So unfortunately, this material is not good for coasters for hot beverages. Oh dear. 
no Earl Grey hot. Uh, Earl Grey hot. Indeed. Um, uh, the, the, this this a range of temperature is so large that makes it, makes it possible to do all these kind of things with it. If something like uh, a water, water turns instantly from ice into water instantly yeah so you could not put that in a nozzle because you could not keep the temperature in that in between yeah, points but, it can, it, but it becomes a pliable soft, a yeah. soft uh, solid it's not a soft solid at yeah. all um, uh, you, could, you could do it with glass it would have to be a nozzle that's much more heated because as you believe glass melts at a thousand celsius we wouldn't that be doing that right here uh, no no no, you it would like actually not. Special. It would not be would not be smelly it, because most of these things are smelly when they get too hot. But it would be very very difficult to do. Yes. Yeah. So um, so that's why plastics are, are the right thing for this. All kinds of different plastic, but each plastic has its own uh, melting uh, softness temperature to, to be pliable enough to, to to be pushed through the extruder because it gets pushed through and uh, just uh, molten enough that it actually sticks to the, to the layer below um, because it ba basically it pushes, it, it pushes the new layer on top of the old layer into the old layer and heats up the old layer a little bit where it touches and so it fuses together and there we go for the next layer I think it's gonna go for a three layer thing I think it's probably going to do a four layer thing because I think the bottom is set as 0.8 uh, millimeter, 800 microns and it's doing 200 microns per layer so it needs to do four layers to get the bottom layer done. Mm. And then it starts to use, do the infill. It's completely fascinating isn't it? Yeah I want to... Um well, let's let this, this do this, its thing. This needs to go for another 40 minutes, so we should okay. let it do its thing. And we'll see you when it's done. Indeed. to go <laughs> yeah it's a lot slower I know it goes fast enough it just does a thinner layer so the whole thing is slower mm -hmm. Smiley yellow. I love it. So it looks like it's got a ring around the outside of the smiley. Yeah. It's just part of the um, of the start thing. Mm. It just doesn't do it for 300, 300 micron. It doesn't do that. Don't ask me why. Because I don't know. I will not ask. It's good because I will tell you that I don't know mm -hmm. and it will sound stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine it's a printing candy. <laughs> 
Uh, it, does, it can't do anything food safe yet because of the heat and uh, the What? No replicators like Star Trek? Well, only if you want something that's Goodness. made of one thing, like all candy or all yeah. sugar or all chocolates or... or oh, so it could potentially do chocolates, smileys. Yeah, yes, it can do, yes. Potentially, not on this machine, it can do chocolate smileys. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be food safe, but it would be a chocolate uh, if you smiley. actually If you do it on a machine that's actually made for chocolate, they don't use this technique of, of the extruder with this kind of material. They use, instead, they use a uh, syringe extruder, and that would be safe. Yeah. Um, but that would be a different machine than this one. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> uh, and I think they do already, they do... Uh, but, but they don't go much higher than, than, than like this. They don't build up an entire big model or something like that. Right. That's, that's, that's over asking. So basically, mostly what they do is make smileys and make uh, written texts. Mm -hmm. And it's nearly done. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's getting the hammer out. Let me just zoom out. I can't actually zoom out. F oh, I guess I can zoom out far enough. Hammer and chisel. chisel. Yes. Also known as ruler. So with a hammer and uh, uh, and the glass plate, be Whoa. nice. And uh, there it goes. Two. One. Ooh, it's much more stuck. There you go. Happy yeah. smiley. Happy smiley. Happy smiley. Let's start the next one already. Oh, well, take a look. Mm -hmm. So this is the 300 micron. That's the 200 micron. 300 micron. Yeah. That's the bottom. See, way better quality. Yeah, and you're missing those. Uh, those mistakes as well. Yes. I still see some um, ribbing, but not as big as. On and the and here, I don't think you can see that on Ooh. the camera. Yeah, hold me. Yeah, I'm trying to get a close up. Yeah. And so the 300 micron is going to have uh, a lot uh, more uh, layer lines here than here. Yeah. And I'm going to start the next one. So, we're going to start the one, and that's going to take in, uh, an hour and 25 minutes, I believe, so... That's going to be a while yet. It's... Yay! Smile, smile. Smile, smile. Smile, smile. Smiley's happy living together. In smiley land. Yes. Gorgeous. So, and um, uh, the ring is quite... Yeah, it's, not bad at all. Party's on again because the plate was already hot, so mm -hmm. party's on again. Oh, there it goes, drooling. Drill, 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 drill. Making a nice little. So, and I can puddles. actually squash it now because it's still soft. Yeah, but was that not very hot? It is, it's, um, it's, the, it's up there. So yeah. Can, eh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. It's nice and warm, toasty. Actually, it becomes quite uh, the moment it leaves the nozzle, the temperature goes down a lot. But that, yeah, that was hot. Yeah. <laughs> Not burning hot or anything like that. It's about as hot as uh, like what comes out of the hot faucet. Is you don't want to keep your hand under that uh, very yeah. long. So yes. maybe 60 degrees or so. Uh, by the time the nozzle has moved away, yeah, 60, 70 degrees. Oh, well, this one's gonna take an hour and two, uh, 20 minutes or something like that. Yeah, so this is the most uh, fine version. Yeah, 100 micron. And it's, it's doing its best to make the smiley. Uh, and there we go, filling in. get in there a little bit more now that we still have some vision
it's uh, somehow because of the lines it reminds me of rice fields in uh, you know patty um, agriculture hmm. okay uh, just off the wall association going on sorry that's okay it's very um, restful yeah it is very zen or probably misuse of the word zen but it's very meditative indeed it's uh, more interesting than watching paint dry yes but if paint dry were entertaining this is what it would look like <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah indeed <laughs> right <laughs> I'm sure it's good for the for the brain and the soul to just sit there and watch it happen. It's like watching people build something. You know it's slow, you know it's gonna take a long time. And you know there's other things that you could do that would be much more and <coughs> this is why they invented the time lapse version. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, well you'll have that as well. We'll put in the time lapse. Hurry <laughs> it up a little yes. bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've got some rice fields made out of plastic here. Yellow PLA. And then uh, yeah, the smiley is starting to become visible again. You're almost rooting for it to make it to the next <laughs> bit. Like, yeah, he's got it! But it's a machine, so why wouldn't he get it? I always think, oh, this time he's gonna forget to, to fill up that little bit. I know, it's like, yes, this and the last little bit. Yay! <laughs> he's just cheering him on. And it's then we go for the circle around. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that has that fascination that trains have as well. They follow... Um, tracks preset track yeah that they must follow I think that's what it appeals to it's, it's always fun to look at trains is that uh, eye on the right is that got a problem there with the stuff sticking out Mm, maybe sorry, one left. clean it up. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't even. It's right eye, your left yeah, eye. Yeah, it was really the left. Come on, well, I know the difference between um, right. We can and basically left. only find out when we get it off the um, off the plate, and, and we can check it out. Um, yeah. It's very difficult to see uh, to to know in advance how it's going to solve the problems. But in the end, it will probably only be visible on the back side anyway. Yes, because we're looking at the back side right now. In the front of the back, the back is on the plate. And possibly with a little bit, with a little bit of knife work, it can go away and nobody will notice. Knife Ever. work? Knife ah, work. well, yeah. you haven't mentioned knife work well, yet. Well, so. where, do you, where do you think I have my war wounds from? Yeah, yeah, we need, <coughs> we need war wounds. We need, we need battles. We need trains, and, and we need craft like knives. Pa paint drying in the shape of a smiley. Yes, and right. craft knives. So, how long is this going to Yeah, another, another hour and, and 15 minutes. I think it's a good moment to stop <laughs> and then <laughs> yes. get back to it later. Yes. Okay. Okay.
the results are in. So we printed it in um, um, uh, 100 micron, 200 micron, 300 micron mm. layer heights. Right. And so you take a look at which ones you I like best. Okay. Um, well, I can definitely say already that that one is not so great. Yeah, it's very coarse. It's the 300 micron. At the box, yeah. it only printed like, oh god, uh, it was very fast. It was like like 20 minutes or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, I like I like this one, because he's smoother. And he still has lines over his face, but uh, it's a little less distracting than I the middle one. I need to check. Uh, this one's a 200 micron. And you have expensive taste. That's the 100 micron. Yeah. <laughs> so, but these are your yes. options when you're printing stuff. Uh, can you show the edge to the camera? Because that's the, the edge with the uh, finest layer lines and also the finest top. Show the top. The front. So, um, there's yeah. a lot of texture, but it is definitely. Uh, so it shines with the ears so there is texture but that's the printing yeah. the back surface looks like like this excuse me yeah so the back surface is just smooth on on the second one as well yeah and on the third it's a mess yeah that's the the 300 so show me the side please the side here so you can see thick coarse layer lines and then yeah. of course the this back side uh, quite a bit of a mess yeah that's here. that was on the plate so it started off quite wonky we did see that and that's and the, the top sides it's just not it's got a lot of scars yeah it's um so and this one the front and oh, can you show the side for this one mm-hmm so the back sides are going to be very similar because uh, other than uh, adhesion for for um, uh, let me see for the number three number three for that one yeah. for the th uh, third so. one is uh, it's it's um, nearly didn't stick to uh, stick enough to the plate because it wasn't being pushed enough into the plate because of the layer height. Yeah. So. So, but this That's one took like 20 minutes, that one took like 50 minutes, and yeah. that one took like an hour and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you know, just like any uh, craft, more time makes uh, definitely okay. more quality. Indeed. Yeah. So, conclusion? Conclusion, well, if I were crocheting, I would also take a smaller <laughs> crochet head to get a finer result. So... I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. But would the middle one still be acceptable? Would the, th would the, would the 300 yeah. front rendered be acceptable? No. No. Especially you... because the backside is has got a lot of uh, mess over his eyes. Uh, but the, the 200 would be just fine for what it is. Because he's a very... Um, un, he's, not, he's not a subtle design. He's, he's not <laughs> <laughs> you mean he's a smiley? Yeah. <laughs> he's not, you know, intricate like like no. the Groot. <laughs> you know, he has a, has a lack of depth. We have, we have Groot. Let's let's just put Groot's hand next to our just that. You know, <laughs> here we can talk about is it acceptable? But this this is fine. This is fine. I would just say this one. You know, get a little bin, and I would just put this one. Bye bye. But okay. other than that, you know, these this can go with Groot. And Groot can now hold two of them in his hand and go <laughs> smiley, 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 do the smiley dance. So you have now two things you can hang on your bag. Yay! And that's um, that's this printing lesson, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's the printing lesson for today. <laughs> <laughs>